you underway right now in Detroit. We'll wrap up in less than an hour right at 6 o'clock. And it's all part of the Angels Night campaign. Overnight, hundreds of volunteers were on the streets working to keep Detroit neighborhoods safe and arson free. 7 Action News reporter Shelly Childers joins us live at the Northwest Activity Center. Shelly, what's happening there right now? Well, I can tell you this is one of the many locations across Detroit where volunteers can meet up to help out. This is an effort to end what used to be known as Devil's Night, now known as Angel's Night. Just last night, our crews spotted um, a reignition of a house fire, four apartment fires over Sunday night. This happened near East Grand Boulevard and Frederick on the east side. Our photographer saw smoke still smoldering there at the scene, and he had to call the department back to the scene. Now, this this is what it looked like when those homes first caught fire. We have new video for you from yesterday. It took three hours for firefighters to put out the flames. They're still investigating the cause, but neighbors out there believe this was arson because they say the homes are vacant. And this is exactly why Angels Night was put into place to stop potential arson like this. We met volunteers last night hitting the streets this week, and here's what they had to say. We volunteer for Angels night because we feel the need for safety during this time of the year. I mean, Basically for the kids. No, no, even if you can't get out to help volunteer with Angels Night, you can help by keeping your porch light on all night at homes and businesses. And there's also an ordinance in effect that bans people from buying gasoline in portable containers across Detroit. Now, that emergency curfew that accompanies Angels Night begins again tonight at 7 o'clock. There's also a curfew for Halloween night that has a couple different times. We have that information on our website. That's at WXYZ.com. Reporting live from Detroit, Shelley Childers, 7 Action News.